how to create a directory listing website hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can create a directory website so having said that let's just jump into the video so for those of you who don't know what a directory website is it's basically a website where people can you know come over there and you know give their opinion about something so for example like if i say yelp a lot of people might know yelp is a pretty amazing website it's basically a directory website where people come and interact with each other they give like you know their opinions their views so that people can see if that place is good or not to eat to stay or stuff like that you know so this is the type of website we're trying to create so now that you know it let's go ahead and get down to the business i'm over here in my dashboard wordpress dashboard and what we're going to do is we're going to go over here onto the left side and we're going to go over here into the uh, appearance section over here and over here we're going to go ahead and click on themes when we click on themes it'll take us over here into the themes section where we have a bunch of different themes already installed but what we need to do is we need to add another theme right or a directory so click on add new theme all right and over here we have the search option as you can see we'll just search for directory I click on enter and here we have a bunch of different themes now you can choose these themes you want or you can find some other themes that you would like to use like uh, you know listing pro which is a pretty amazing theme but it is not free so it's a premium theme keep that in mind so once you have done it we have a bunch of themes over here choose whichever one you want for example like ftp directory listing so i'm gonna go ahead and view this one and see how it looks like so if i view it wait a couple of seconds for it to load all right so over here we have a bunch of different options and we have a bunch of different placeholders over here all right but nothing loaded up so let me just go back real quick so all right so i'm gonna install this one ftp directory listing Let's click on install. So as you can see, it's installed. Now let's go ahead and click on activate to activate this theme. Boom, there we go. Now we need to install some plugins that are necessary for that theme. So over here, let's just click on plugins. All right, select them and click on apply now. Oh, I forgot. Select all of them and install. Click on apply now and boom, there we go. They're now installing. So wait a couple of seconds for all of them to install and we can move on to the next step. And once you have installed and activated the themes, what you will do is you'll go ahead and click on customize to customize your listing theme. So click customize and it'll open up this part of the website where you can go ahead and start customizing your theme. So as you can see, we have a bunch of different options over here on the left side. You have your theme options, all right? You have your site identity, colors, background image, menus, widgets, homepage, WooCommerce, additional CSS. It all depends on you. So let's go ahead and click on you know uh theme options over here let's see we have the banner section over here and over here we can add the title so you can add any title you want so let's just say new directory all right wait a couple of seconds for it to load up once it's done you can go ahead and select an image as well for like the background so uh well let's just use that as well so choose image wait a couple of seconds there we go and once that's done you can go ahead and start editing it out so over here as you can see you have a pencil tool right next to each of the things that you need to edit so for example if i needed to edit this one all i had to do was click over here right we have our logo over here we have the site title over here just another website you know it all depends on you so you can go over here and add like new directory over here and you can add another logo like we can change a logo and over here let me just find a logo if i can we have a bunch of logos let's just use any logo we want we'll just use this tree one over here oh loading up all right we'll just use this tree oh where did it go all right we'll just use this owl this pigeon whatever it is click on inspect and download and it's now it's downloading wait a couple of seconds for it to be downloaded and we'll just crop the image We'll go ahead and crop it it's cropping once that's done as you can see a small little dub logo is over there and boom that's it now what we can do is we can go ahead and change some colors all right so we have a bunch of different colors so over here we have the main sites color we have white over here we can dim it down a little bit you know make it a little bit red or something like that so that everything is a little bit more viewable you know like the background color all right something like that maybe this purplish color looks good so we'll just leave it at that right 
banner section over here listing section over here let me just change the logo a little bit because it's black let me just find it because the background it doesn't you know pop real good yeah, i think this logo looks nice it's green it's big you know bold let's go ahead and use this yeah here we go All right as you can see pretty decent logo you know not too big not too shabby in your face type of logo so now let's go ahead and try to find that color here we go purple no maybe something yeah like this one this looks good we'll just leave it at that and we have the background images we can add background images we have menus over here we can create a menu got widgets over here we can add some widgets if we want and once everything is done all you have to do is just simply click on publish and your website will be published and you're good to go done so that's how you basically create a listing website all right nothing too needed so once you've done that what you need to do is you need to come over here you see you have your listing over here over here people can add like different vendors different listings and stuff like that we have our high press we have our themes over here so if we click on listing right here we can add new listing of a different property or different ad so we can add like the title over here the media over here we can add like vendors and stuff like that and add in the images and once that's done just simply click on publish and you're good to go so that's how you basically add some new listings same with vendors if we click on vendors we can add new vendors by clicking on the add new button over here we can add like vendor name you know the user the verified mark add some text over here and boom you're done so those are the things that you could do and that's how you basically complete a listing website and if you wanted to you know try another plugin or stuff like that then what you'll need to do is you'll need to go into the plugins area over here and over here go to add new add new plugins all right and just simply search for listing all right and as you can see you have a bunch of different applications over here so we already have high press multi-purpose directory listing all right we could use the google listing and ads by woocommerce directories wordpress classified listing wp job opening like all these different ones as well so since i already have high pressing let me just show you so if i come over here on the left side click on high press so over here as you can see we have a bunch of different options so we have our listings over here we have vendors over here users over here and integrations over here so in listing what you'll need to do is you can add like a listing page over here so as you can see we have services sample page home contact about then we have listing page display and regular listings per page is going to be eight featured listings is going to be two and related listings per page is going to be three then you can add like a title you can add like enable image zoom so that whenever someone you know hovers over an image this image gets zoomed in or zoomed out you know then you have a bunch of different other options as well and once you have you know added all of these stuff you just simply click on save and that's basically it the same thing you can do with the vendors you can add different vendors as well the same process and the users are going to be automatically displayed over here so you don't have to worry about that you can even add like different users as well you have like allow user registrations generate username from the email address and require email address verification so we'll do that as well for security checks and then we'll just simply click on save and that's basically it so everything is very easy in wordpress you can do a lot of things by installing just a bunch of different plugins and you're good to go so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, if you found this video a little bit helpful and or entertaining be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on the post notifications and if you have any questions let me know in the comment section down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that thank you guys for watching and until next time goodbye